Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today as I promised we are going to speak regarding most free to play friendly uh, faction in the game, uh, League of Orders. Uh, yesterday I made a video regarding Spring Wardens, uh, what was the advantages and the disadvantages playing around Spring Wardens and how free to play friendly uh, in general this faction is. And in this video I mentioned that the next one will be about the most perfect uh, and the most amazing faction for a free-to-play players currently which we have in Call of Dragons, right? Uh, as always, we're gonna cover in this video, uh, video uh, about uh, units uh, in the League of Order faction, about the hero uh, Walder and in general like faction bonuses and how free to play friendly the League of Orders is in general and how pay to win friendly it is uh, for the pay to win players too, right? Uh, so as always we need to mention like uh, units which are the most important stuff in a faction, right? Uh, like in general uh, like every single faction has a different uh, skills uh, synergies in their units, right? Unique skills. Uh, like Spring Wardens had a like a defensive uh, buff with the mages, right? A march speed reduction with the marksmen, uh, and so on. So League of Orders has the same uh, kind of skills which are unique to their own uh, faction. So we're gonna go dig dig deep inside and see why they are so good as a free to play uh, players uh, faction and why even pay to win players are using the faction, right? Uh, first of all, mages, Vestals, uh, are called in the Call of, in the League of Orders uh, uh, faction, the mages. They are getting increased HP whenever there is a friendly legion. Uh, not an important buff, but like in general, being tanky uh, for a unit is a great. So additional uh, hit points, HP, is for the Vestals of the League of Orders. Uh, the swordsmen are getting increased uh, defense. Like almost every single infantry, swordsmen are infantry units, uh, every single infantry units are getting uh, physical defense whenever they are fighting with the uh, friendly allies or fighting against the grouped um, enemy, right? So like nothing special with the infantry of League of Orders. Um, now next, Ballistas, as you can see, like some uh, words are changed, They're like in Spring Wardens, uh, trends where mages and Westals are mages here, so Ballistas are uh, marksmen units for the League of Orders. Uh, like their special ability is that they can uh, increase their normal attack damage. Uh, like, uh, not a special ability, right? Normal attack is a pretty good option for, especially for the Sindrion and Fragor hero, hero pair. So, like, uh, this is a special about marksmen uh, of the League of Order in general, uh, increasing normal attack damage while fighting in the, against the enemy. Now, the cavalry units, the knights uh, of the League of Order, are normal knights. If we're gonna compare them with the Spring Wardens uh, knights, uh, cavalry units, right? They are ranged. But knights are ordinary melee range uh, cavalry units. They are getting physical attack once they are engaged in a fight with the enemy. Um, kind of same uh, talents uh, the cavalry units have. Like most differences regarding special skills are always with mages and always with marksmen, right? Uh, the special unit uh, which makes League of Order one of the best factions, if not the best in the game, are the Celestials, which are magic units ranged and flying. Uh, whenever they are fighting, uh, they are getting magic uh, attack uh, increase. Uh, that's the special ability of the Celestials. And in general, we I, I need to say that uh, the Celestials are only reason why I want to change my faction from the Spring Wardens to League of Orders. One of the best units in the game. Uh, you can use them in any kind of situation, especially whenever you are free-to-play player. You like to be ranged. You like to attack enemies in a, from a long distance, and having a flying hero while flying, a, like flying unit while flying units have the highest uh, march speed, like movement speed in the game. That's like the best choice for any kind of player in this game, right? Either you are a free-to-play uh, player or 
pay to win, you will love playing with Celestial. So that's like one of the main and the greatest reason why in general uh, people are choosing to play the League of Orders. Like even a lot of tier 5 players are choosing League of Orders. So like this is not only about my advice. I'm trying to gather the information around my kingdoms, around other kingdoms, around my gameplay. And I think like Celestials have been the meta units since the day one and they are continuing to do it in the future and honestly like i never wanted to change my faction because i love how spring wardens uh, look like elfish style right but i'm uh, every day i'm thinking more and more that i want to change to the league of orders so i will be able to use celestials the best special unit i can honestly say the best uh, special unit in the whole game uh, currently and it has been like this for a long long time already so this is like all i wanted to say regarding units of league of orders they look actually pretty cool uh, they have like some uh, nuances which are unique like hp for uh, the magic units uh, yeah, normal attack increase for marksmen Finally, like uh, melee cavalry units, like Spring Wardens have made arranged the units, like archers in the horse on the horses, and of course the Celestials, which are, in my opinion, best units in the game. Uh, now it's time to speak like faction bonuses, uh, Legion Magic Defense and Overlord Gathering Speed are, uh, in my opinion, pretty much 100% free to play um, faction bonuses. Uh, for a league of order right like legion magic defense is great thing to have um, simply because you have two magic units uh, celestials and uh, the vestals uh, if you are playing this faction you are mostly using these two vestals and uh, celestials so you are utilizing your faction bonus uh, 200 percent right three percent is not a lot but it's like upgrading your uh, old defense research uh, which costs like 55 days right that's what you are getting with the legion magic defense like overall gathering speed uh, it's amazing especially for a free-to-play players uh, simply because we can't just like swipe the card and get more resources we need to gather them and like more gathering speed you can get in general like in the game it's better for you sooner you will get your resources and sooner you're gonna upgrade your research upgrade your structures and recruit as much uh, units as possible in the game right so whatever i see from the unit section and the uh, faction bonus section is a pretty much very free, free to play friendly uh, content uh, now the most important whenever you are change uh, you are choosing the faction you need to think about the main hero of the faction uh, currently league of orders main hero is walder uh, i can honestly say the best epic hero in the game uh, in his skill set like like, uh, he has skills which are amazing even for a legendary hero uh, like um, I won't gonna go deep dig deep inside the Walder's playstyle simply because I have a guide about Walder in general and you can check it by yourself but still like magic pvp skills the best talents which you can get on your uh, magic uh, fighting hero and it's an epic hero first every single skill which Walder has is a fighting skill like you are even getting shields you are getting skill damage dealt bonus you are getting getting magic attack bonus and hp bonus and of course uh, like some debuffs some freeze some gloom uh, minus 20% attack, uh, minus 20% march speed, and what's the most unique uh, about Waldir, why it makes uh, the best epic hero uh, in the game, is that awakening uh, skill which is gonna deal uh, damage to the three nearby legions, so it, in terms of like uh, swarming or fighting in, in every kind of situation, Walder where is a very useful hero. You can use him to farm Darklings, you can use him to Roots of War, you can use him in a mass PvP zones whenever there is a fighting, you can use it in use him in pass. So in every kind of content which this game has, you will love playing with the Walder. I highly recommend playing with him and uh, the Walder was my first choice to awaken simply because he's uh, dealing damage to three nearby legions 
are a lot, right? Like, you are not only hitting one legion, you are hitting three guys whenever you are hitting one. So, uh, this unique uh, awakening skill is pretty unique. Like, there is not much uh, much heroes which going to give you this uh, like this type of skill which can like hit a couple of legions when they are nearby, right? So this is what makes League of Order even better, like main hero, uh, su such a great main hero, like uh, it will be useful, right? Even if you are not playing as a mages, uh, as a uh, mage legions, you're gonna have at least one mage legion in your legions, right? So you will still use Waldir, especially for a free-to-play player, simply because I think Whenever the developers made Lilia and it, they made it for the pay to win players, they made the Waldir for a free to play players, right? So I won't gonna speak much about this guy. Uh, he is amazing. Uh, you will love playing with him and try to awaken uh, him as soon as possible. Now, like most important question which you guys uh, are asking, like is League of Orders free to play friendly faction? I think. Every free-to-play player should play with League of Orders. If you're gonna only watch at the uh, stats and how you can maximize your time and the value, right? Uh, amazing faction bonuses, amazing units in general, like uh, Mages has a longest range in the game. And that's why it's more viable for a free-to-play player to play it. Simply because if you're gonna play with infantry or uh, cavalry units, you're gonna die like very fast. You won't gonna see what happened in the battlefield, you will be in the hospital. So, in general, I... My advice is for every to play players to play either on mages or marksmen. I'm currently playing with marksmen, but mages are even better for a free to play player. Uh, so, like faction bonuses are amazing uh, for a free to play players. Uh, special units are the best for a free to play player. Mages are amazing, and Waldir is the made for us who guys and the players who are not spending any money in this game and they want to play and enjoy uh, the game organically, right? That's why with these three main categories, like hero, uh, units, and faction bonus, I think League of Order is 100% free-to-play friendly. So I would advise anybody who is trying to start the game right now, or are they are, or you are thinking of changing the faction uh, from Spring Wardens or from Wilderberg to League of Order, uh, it's an easy decision. I think I will make this decision too and I will continue playing with League of Order. Now, this is all I wanted to share about this beautiful faction, like more of like a human's faction, right? Uh, the next video will be about Wilderberg. Uh, they are much more uh, pay-to-win friendly in my opinion. Uh, so like, yeah, like we, we covered uh, regarding units, we spoke about faction bonus. We spoke about Walder. I'm not gonna speak much about him because, uh, like, I have a guide only about the Walder and about how great he is. Um, so, yeah, like, I'm gonna continue making more videos um, in the future, and I have been doing that already for past seven months. Uh, my videos are mostly free-to-play friendly content for a people who doesn't want to spend money in the game, uh, and they want to enjoy the game how it is uh, organically, so... Uh, if you like that kind of content, press like, um, press uh, subscribe, so you won't gonna miss my everyday videos. I'm trying to make at least one video every day, and I'm I'm thinking of continuing doing that uh, pretty much in the future too. Uh, the next video will be Wilderberg. We already did Spring Wardens faction. Uh, now we are doing the League of Orders, and next one is. Uh, Wilderberg. Soon I think they will introduce the fourth faction, which I think will be about dwarves. Uh, that's the clue I have. Uh, that nothing comes from the developers, that's only my guess. And we will have more faction to speak about, right? Like in general, I think in this, in this game, we need more heroes, we need more legendary heroes, we need more epic heroes, and we need more factions, right? More diversity is pretty cool. Uh, whenever you have many different choices, to think about your choice is amazing. Um, this is all I wanted to share uh, about uh, League of Orders and in general about the Call of Dragons. Hope you are liking the videos because I'm con I'm gonna continue making them. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye and see you very very soon.